Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Fervent Tempo Delta Rosalia, the S rank Valkyrie. Um, since uh, she's one of the most popular physical val Valkyries, that's F2P right now. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, her F2P stigmatas as well as uh, her recommended weapon with her uh, skills as well as her F2P comps. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more Honka Impact Their content. And let's get right into it. Okay, so looking at uh, Fervent Tempo Delta, uh, she's considered one of the best uh, physical damage dealer uh, that's gr actually grindable in the game, not like uh, uh, her share of sentience, uh, Fuhua. So you can easily grind for her, she's uh, instantly free to play. If you go uh, right to the shop, uh, you can see here that um, in the war treasury, you can see that her fragments are grindable. So if you want to get her, I suggest getting her to double S. Right now I'm at, I'm at S, but once you get to double S, you'll be set uh, to playing her. At S rank, she's uh, definitely playable. She's uh, like she's still really good. But at double S, you just unlock everything that you need to unlock for her to be like extremely competitive. But at S rank, she's competitive, don't worry. So, of course, looking at her ultimate, uh, we can see that uh, she does like an ultimate, uh, like um, Lilia, when she does a stance and uh, when uh, the opponent attacks the stance, she will deal massive damage and like trigger her ultimate. So, and in defense stand, when she's attacked, you're gonna perform a strike and deal 800 physical damage but when the um, when uh, the stance is attacked she's gonna deal additional physical damage plus she's gonna do time fracture which is pretty pretty good so once she's on fervent mode uh, silent pink juice will resume previous level so fervent mode basically increases her attack by a significant amount which uh, you probably need uh, sign and pink is basically sign is when you uh, press the attack button and pink is when you dodge so you fill up the meters and uh, once you fill up the entire meter for both sign and pink you press uh, hold attack and she will go to fervent mode and in this part she will do massive damage so looking at her skill uh, her charge attack uh, will go to fervent mode as we said before uh, her ultimate of course as we said before and um, yeah ultimate boosts uh, damage for the duration so she goes on fervent, fervent mode plus um, um, these are her QTEs so she's pretty basic um, she's pretty basic Valkyrie uh, when she goes on fervent mode she's gonna deal damage uh, when she does her ultimate she's gonna um, uh, do time fracture and when she's gonna evade as well she's gonna uh, immobilize the enemy so it's basically a time lock which is pretty pretty good so uh, kind of a basic Valkyrie which is what you need in a, in a Valkyrie when 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 the Valkyrie is kind of simple and basic it does most of the, like if it's uh, its job so that's pretty pretty good so yeah that's pretty much it like uh, she's very very um, like uh, a good Valkyrie overall her physical damage is pretty pretty good and that's what you really need in um, in an overall Val Valkyrie. She's uh, she's really really good on Memorial Ali Arena. You really need her. Uh, she covers most of the bosses, which is pretty good. And uh, she's also efficient efficient on Abyss. Uh, but um, you'd rather have something else uh, like uh, something that's uh, that actually like matters in Abyss. But if you don't really have anything else, Fervent Tempo can do the job for you. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Fur and Tempo. Let's get uh, right into her um, Stigmatas. So looking at the Stigmatas, uh, it's basically similar as um, Hershey of Sentience Fuhua. Uh, literally the same. Uh, Jingwei top, Marco Polo mid, and the robot. This is usually the standard F2P build for physical damage, uh, physical DPS, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. So if you, ha if you have these um, Stigmatas, you're pretty much set on, deep on physical DPS. But of course, if you have the means of getting her um, her gacha uh, stuff, uh, it's also really really good to get. 
But for now, if you are still struggling with stigmatas, uh, I recommend getting these three stigmatas for physical DPS, which can help you in literally every every scenario. So every physical scenario, if you say so, if you say that so. Yeah, um, Jingwei top, Marco Polo mid. Uh, she gives you crit damage, pretty insane. Clear bot, of course. Once when, when you're at 100 HP, you gain 46 physical damage, which is insane as well. And this is pretty good for bosses. Uh, you can change that for something else, like um, you can go for like Gluttony if you want to play her as a support. I mean, uh, you can go for uh, Marco Polo top. It's pretty good. Um, it's a pretty good stigmata, it gives you physical, extra physical damage, which you want a physical damage dealer. But uh, I think Jingwei is just uh, does much more when you're playing against bosses. But if you're playing in Abyss, you can put Mar Marco Polo top, so... Yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the, um, for the stigmatas. So for the weapons, um, Sleeper's Dream is uh, one of the best... Uh, weapons for her uh, it's basically her weapon as i recommend in every every f2p build except for because she doesn't really need it um you really really want to get uh, the dps's weapon because it unlocks its max potential so again if you really really want uh, fervent tempo to do well you need sleeper's dream or like swan's lake or um the other uh, Roselia and Lilia equipments, and then when you un when you go to level 80, you just pre, pre arm it into Sleeper's Dream. So, um, getting either uh, Lilia's weapon or Rosalia's weapon is really really good. But if you want to upgrade her, you can di like directly go to Sleeper Sleeper's Dream. So, how I got this? This is kind of F2P. Uh, basically, you can grind over here if you go to. Uh, to Mirage, uh, you can go. I think grind the the Swan's Lake, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Swan. Oh no, it's it appears in the Exchange House. So, if you want to get uh, Sleeper's Dream, you can get um, you can salvage one of these and get either Sleeping's Beauty or Swan Lake under Exchange House, which is I guess grindable since you can grind for. Uh, rare stigmatas and then salvage, salvage them which I did in my to get sleeper's dream so if you want to get um, sleeper's dream I do really really recommend if you want to maximize on uh, fervent tempo's uh, damage output so again I really really recommend that if you can't um, I guess you could go for something like a let's see here you can go for something like um, maybe this, or Blood Dance is pretty good on Fervent Tempo. Or you can go for like um, a Royal Serpent, which grants her SP on uh, when she's she's enter bat when she enters battle, which is pretty pretty good. You want to charge her SP as much as possible, and just keep spamming your ultimate. So um, again, if you have uh, Sleeper's Dream, or Sleeping Beauty, or Swan's Lake, go pre-arm it into Sleeper's Dream. If you don't have either of those, uh, you can go for Royal Serpent. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the weapons. Let's get right into the comps. Okay, so for the team comps, um, you want to get her as this. Okay, so for the team comps, uh, you want uh, Bronya and Astro Logos for a very good um, physical support. Bronya really, 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 really pairs well, like Draft Cometa, not the uh, Yamabuki armor. Uh, the augmented version of Bronya really pairs well with Fervent Tempo. So it's basically like having Astro Logos with um, her Shroff Sentience. So these two really pair well with each other. You don't really want to cut either of them. Like, cut, don't cut Bronya in this comp. You usually want to have uh, Bronya as well as Fervent Tempo on the team, plus, uh, like, an uh, actually. Uh, good in general uh, physical support. So in this case, I chose uh, Starlet as logos because she's good in general. So for the stigmatas on both, um, it's pretty like uh, basic. You can have Teresa Gluttony, May uh, Beach Party, as well as Isaac Bot for the impair. Uh, Gluttony Teresa, as I said before, she gives you additional total damage when you get her candy, which you can pretty much get because uh, uh, you. Uh, use uh, her counter attack 
she hits the enemy, she grants you the candy, you switch into Fervent Tempo and just you deal massive damage. And plus the Impair when you like hit the enemy. So both activation is pretty good. And of course, um, start it as Philogos, you play Terrasa Gluttony to maximize the damage. Plus you play um, the Fuha Musician for the um, two-piece uh, bonus, which gives uh, total damage after exit, which is also pretty, pretty good, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the team comp is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna get right into a uh, game to show you how like the team comp works in general, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe for more Honkai Impact Third content. Uh, I know this um, this video I showed like a countering type for Vervin Tempo, but um, as you can see here, she's pretty amazing. She does pretty good damage, even though her weather didn't the weather of uh, Abyss didn't really fit her uh, as a valkyrie but i didn't have anything to show except for this so because uh, i <laughs> i finished mo everything basically on uh, my dailies plus i can't play uh, super string dimension since i finished every mission so um yeah um she's amazing uh definitely would recommend playing her uh and grinding for her at least you can like uh, grind her at your leisure but if you want to get her at double S, I'd recommend getting her so so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.